Today, I decided to take on the eraser only challenge. And I've done something similar to this before in my drawing one class. It's called a dry wash, and basically, you take your pencil and some sandpaper and you sand the graphite to like make it into a powder, and then you use a cloth to rub it into the paper. And so I decided to use this technique for this challenge. I thought it would make a nice solid background. And so I took my um, woodless pencil and I sanded it to create the powder, and then I used it to tone my paper as dark as I could get it. Once that was complete, I used, um, it's just a normal high polymer pencil eraser. I used a kneaded eraser and then my electric eraser that I got from Wish, and I used these to lift the graphite from the paper. And I chose to plan out my drawing um, based on like the composition of it, and I used my um, kneaded eraser to make the lines for that. And I wanted the drawing to have some pretty strong angles and for it to be a scene from a mountain at night, and I thought if I chose something that was at night and I it would make me have to do less erasing so that was basically my plan was to make something that I don't know looked illuminated so I wanted to show like the moonlight on the snow I thought that'd be fun I chose to make the figure pretty small to emphasize like the scale of the mountain in the background and as I was drawing I noticed my characters started to look like the little prince from Antoine de Saint-Exupéry's book, The Little Prince. <laughs> so I just rolled with it and added the fox to his side. And um, speaking of The Little Prince, that book, in my opinion, is crucial for everyone to read at some point in their life. Technically, it's considered a children's book, but it has very strong metaphors and like metaphors about life that would probably go over most children's heads. So I recommend like anyone ages like 13 or 14 up to give it a try. And if you don't speak French, um, my favorite translation is the Catherine Woods translation because she uses good descriptions and translate the metaphors beautifully and accurately. So really the theme of the book comes through in her translation. Um, but yeah, if you can read French, then you should probably just read it in French. Um, anyway, so back to the drawing. Um, yeah, so this challenge is definitely a challenge. I think the main issue is trying to get the fine details. Sometime I want to invest in one of those like pencils that's actually an eraser. It's like a normal wood pencil, but instead of graphite it has like an eraser in it. I think that would have really helped out um, in this drawing. I could have gotten some finer details, but I didn't have one of those, so um, yeah. Anyway, um, I do enjoy the textures that I managed to achieve like from the kneaded eraser, especially in the sky with like the wispy like cloud nebula things, those are pretty sweet. And this method of drawing definitely gives the, the drawing like more of a painterly finish, and I dig that. Oh, and one more tip, when you apply blue tape to paper, I forgot to do this, but you're supposed to like put it on your clothes to try to get some like of the tackiness toned down because if you put it directly on the paper it's just gonna pull the paper up when you pull the tape off and yeah so it kind of took my paper off but whatever um yeah so that's about it and uh i think that this drawing turned out all right um i i like the textures and stuff like that but i don't know i just feel like the perspective is kind of crazy i don't know maybe maybe that adds charm um, anyway, so I've been using Twitter a lot more recently, so you guys, like, could follow me if you want, so I have people to interact with. <laughs> um, I also have Instagram and things like that too, and those links are in my description. And so yeah, um, thanks for watching my video, by the way. I hope your week is full of happiness and good things, and I'll see you later. Bye!